the Croco hinged cup. You see it right there from the gorgeous Croco collection, sterling silver, 14 karat yellow gold. And then you have some of the best and most beloved designs in J. John Hardy. The Sukatai, that beautiful Croco. So pretty. Look at the, and look how the eyes of the green agate, that's faceted green agate in the eyes of the Croco. There's something so brilliant about it and how it comes to life. That was what that's been some of the biggest comments we've received back on this specific piece is they couldn't get over the life of the agate. They've never seen agate cut that way. All right, so I have to show you what your choices are, and I'm actually gonna take them off. Oh, I hate to take that off. <laughs> I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna show you because here are my three crocos but let me show you the gemstones. So uh, right here is your green agate. It is very, very limited. We are down to average and large only. Average is already last call, so that is that incredibly deep emerald green agate stone. And then take a look, it matches beautifully with those gorgeous green agate eyes. That's the green agate if you want it, I would not wait. We're also doing it in smoky quartz still every croco has the green agate yes outfit. so the green agate as will go through all of your croco designs and actually throughout the entire collection yes because my ring has the green agate as well so that's your smoky quartz small average and large size and then we also are doing it in an absolutely amazing turquoise and i love that you faceted the turquoise yes. you don't see turquoise faceted like that very often no we made a specific call just to create a different look and we did it at the checkerboard so it although an opaque stone it can still play off the light that you have an easy hinge, mm -hmm. so it's easy on and off. And just to give you a little bit of background on the piece, if you were to picture where the croco head is and the end cap of the turquoise, we initially launched that as a Sukatai bracelet. Oh, okay. So without the head and without the gemstone. And I think within four or five months, more than 5,000 people had brought it home and fell head over heels in love and they loved the weight of it. So when we launched the Croco, we wanted to create something that could stack back to. Mm -hmm. So all of my ladies who love to, I always joke around, you've got a wrist, you have an elbow and I'm here to stack them up. <laughs> Let's <laughs> fill them up, okay? Um, so this is something, just so you know the size, because I know it's quite difficult when you're not able to put it on yourself to see the dimension, the gauge of it. This is gonna go back to the ones you might have at home where it's literally just like this. Okay. So we've added a beautiful croco head and uh, the details of the texture all the way throughout to bring that to life. A very nice, easy, and strong hinge. And if you will, I'm just going to take it all the way around so you can see. Look at the detail on the under gallery just oh of goodness. the head. That's I'm, wild. You didn't have to do that. No, I, I mean, love that you did. Well, and. I mean, I, I give it to the to the eyes of the young of the young craftsman who can mm -hmm. carve in wax that small. So there you've got that beautiful texture of the croco motif. And again, he's a happy croco. And when you get it home, do me a favor, do name them. Because I in the reviews I read all the names. Oh, I, that's cute. My critter name is this. This is I know you said it was a boy, Scott. Mine's a girl. Nice. And then I want to want you to think about too, as someone who has a little girl at home, as a giftable with graduation and any loved ones going away or moving away, that symbol of maternal protection alone. Oh my gosh, can you imagine sending your daughter off to college with this? So I do wanna let you know, if you do want the green agate, we are down to large only, and it is going very, very quickly. There you see it with the Croco bracelet that we presented a little bit earlier. You know what I particularly like about this hinge style in the Croco is that I always wanna look down and be able to see my gemstone and my Croco's head. If this were a regular bangle, sometimes I'd see it. Most As times it would I wouldn't around. because yes. it would be twirling around. This is so well balanced that I don't care what you do when you're wearing it. That croco head is always gonna be front and center at the top of your wrist. And I'll say if you are have the ability and you already have one of that one of them at home, a lot of my guests have been putting them together and facing each other. Oh wait, let me take a look. Let so me, just an try. easy fun way because the, the, the emails I get are, oh, is look, it okay. too much if I wear too many of them? I'm like, no, these are your friends, these are your family. I like that actually. It creates another look, and just as you said, you have one where he's facing yeah. you and looking at you, then you get the beauty of the gemstone, and I love the fact that you still have that smoky quartz. Right. Smoky quartz, and with all the style work that you do, don't you find a smoky yes. quartz an easy color oh, and a so seasonless easy. color? It really is a neutral. And I just want to show you. So I'm giving my brace, I'm giving it quite a shake. 
I know that's not really easy for the guys to work <laughs> on the camera. But the reason I wanted to show that is because, look, this is not spinning around my wrist. That croco head will always stay front and center exactly where I place them. In fact, in this case, I place them so they could be looking at each other. So we do have it in green agate, but large only and about to go. Turquoise getting very, very popular and smoky quartz, just easy to wear. It's a clearance price. When it's gone, it is true.